So how are we looking? We got level one mantis. You level one yet? Yep. Level one. Wait, no. But yes. Yeah, okay. What about you? You're on your way. Crew is shaping up. I need more power. In fact, I even need, I need even more power. And if we need to, we can change. We can trade oxygen or a butler if we need to. Seems like a good trade. Mouth wide open. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. What's up? We are doing the what is it? The pleasure slug ship cruise ship? This run. Old ass UI. Have you never seen the uh, FTL before? Are you new to the game? Manta settlements? Hell no. NG sector sounds marginally better. Hostile sector. Uh, we got a lot of bunch of civilian sectors on this run. You know, that's a good question. I don't know how to check. How, how do you check? Oh. <laughs> I guess I'm running on an old version. Interesting. Um, on the front screen, it says of, of merchants and uh, whatever those things are. I, th I think so. I picked this version up like last year, so... That might be why. 4.11, maybe it said, I don't know if that was the mod version or the game version. Order and Chaos. Oh, I'm gonna have to upgrade. Is there a kind of upgrade and keep my uh, my ship list currently or I'm gonna have to restart? We're gonna go NG sector, I think. I'm not gonna fight fire with fire. You've entered the hyperspeed. It's amazing to think long ago the idea of traveling between two worlds in a matter of minutes to hours was nothing but a fantasy. Lose the page one ships due to ID changes. Oh. Might end up losing everything. That's fine. It's not like those are the only ships I've unlocked or anything. <laughs> While hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed to your next sector or do something aboard the ship first. Learn about the Atlas. Now just, just, just proceed. Engines are non-violent and generally friendly with the Federation. As long as you can avoid miscommunication errors, the native inhabitants will be up to little trouble. The same cannot be said, however, for other hostile invaders. Arrived in NG space, the Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Well, I think maybe for next time I'll have to upgrade then, see what's new. Despite being normally peaceful, the NG don't take lightly to intruders in their sectors. Fortunately for you, the guard here doesn't consider you intruder or ignores you. Contact the guard. Request supplies. Apologies, content stored to 10 for visitors equals 0%. Requesting that you do not ask again. Decide not to push your luck. Alright. Fine. Bureaucrats. A link. This is the location of a Harmony link. I didn't ask you, did you get the ending where you punch my minus ones? <laughs> so I don't know because you don't have the update. No. <laughs> I've actually only uh, won one run for multiverse. Sure, go ahead. It's the location of the Harmony Link. We're gonna, go, we're gonna go link up with Harmony. Possibly go wrong. It appears you've discovered a Harmony Link. These massive planet-sized structures are made up of trillions of nanobots and transmit a strong signal to all the NG in the sector, okay? Wow. That is a graphic in the hat. It's so bright, my eyes! Seared like tuna steaks. Press the magnifying glass button in the bottom right corner. Oh, we probably should not come here. I'll have, I'll press it again. Two stats weapons lets you see all the connections between beacons. Ah, okay. Orbiting around the link is the wreckage of several massive structures, or are they ships? Composed of gigantic cubicle segments, the ships are larger than any vessel you've ever seen. But they've been completely just decimated. A strangely designed, but yet non-cubicle automaton rests silently by the wreckage. You aren't sure if it's moving closer or will awaken it. The Grim? Or just green ships. This <laughs> is very Borg looking. Destroy the ship first, just in case. Attempt to salvage without alerting the ship or ignore the crash shite. Shite. What do you got? You looks like you got a beam of some sort and uh and a missile. Cerebral Cloud 92, hello, welcome. How's it going? 
Um, actually, we don't have any weapons. <laughs> the only thing we can do is board. And, uh, that's not gonna work in this case. We're going to ignore the crash site. Alright, never mind. I guess we don't get to. You warily distance yourself from the vessel. You can almost make out the lights flickering on the vessel and the slightest movement to observe your ship as if it were watching. Okay, no, never mind. Okay, fine. Yeah, no weapons. So, uh, I mean, we could spend the next three hours here boarding and unboarding and letting them repair. Just to take it out, but we'd probably die, too. Lose one of our guys. Unless we wanted to waste one of our butler bots doing that. Bummerino. Let's dive deeper into the sector, see what's around us. Alright, the magnifying glass. Doesn't seem to be working. A little bit. There we go, it's on now. How do we work? How do we have the vanilla? I look like 4 point something. Uh, yeah, no, I'm running an old version apparently. I, uh, I probably should have looked to update. Oh well. It's multiverse. This is just a very, uh, it's an outdated multiverse. We haven't caught up to the main timeline yet. Oh, hello. An Argeon Market. This black market hub here receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. We do have missiles. We don't need them. Sure. I'll take some scrap. Let's, uh... There could be some stuff up here. Let's, let's do a sweep down this way. They added a fedora? Is it tippable? Receive a distress call from the nearby NG ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. Respond to the call and move in to assist. It was a trap. Of course it was. The NG never asked for help. We approach to find a Mantis ship assaulting a small NG space station. Prepare for a fight. You get ready for repair for combat. We don't need to do anything. Mantis. Disgusting. So. Oh. Is that before or after you stab them in the back? You should die pretty quick. Yeah, alright. Back to your positions. Uh, we do have two shields. We're good. Yeah, you guys. Gonna be no problem. A couple of mantas might be a problem, though. No, no, we should be fine. Where should we fight? You can fight anywhere. Fight in the weapons room. Also, you guys are out of position again. Uh, also, you need to go fast mode, please. And, uh, bounce. Should be able to tank both at the same time. Uh, don't split up your attacks, please. Oh, shit. Very soft and low for you. There we go. <laughs> Mod have the uh, crew lab? It might. I don't know what the crew lab is, though. Normal life signs detected. Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, contact the NGs. It's strip bear and there are signs of a fierce battle. The Mantis must have left the stress cell active, too. Okay, it was a trap. Man, I don't, do not like Mantis. Should be able to see if you can install it now. Oh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we did install something. There's a uh, something to do with the med bay, like an onboard lab, or like uh, is it like for augmenting your your crew types? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do have that. It's uh, leeches and merchants. I think is the version I'm on. Store. I'll have to check that out then, yeah, because <laughs> we mostly only got slugs to our name right now. I want to get another mantis and start breeding out some mantises, that'd be nice. Uh, we'll sweep down. 
Must have been a rich pickings for parts around up here because until war broke out, the parts in Canada here look worn down, but hungry will have other fights. These guys have a lot of burst weapons. And, um, whatever the hell that thing is. They have no boarding capabilities. Alright. Do nothing for right now. We need to drop our oxygen down and send out a robot. What are you? You are terrifying. That's actually not a bad spot to hit. We also need to hit their weapons, like, right away. Put you in turbo mode real fast. Perfect. <laughs> that should be over really, really quick. Keep hitting that. Alright. Boarding is very powerful. I've never played with boarding before, and, uh... Are we done yet? Oh, we got somebody on board. My bad. Yeah, we got a butler bot. Pretty handy. Not quite a Mr. Handy, but pretty handy. What are you? Is that like a nanobot machine or something? I'll be, come on. Where'd it go? <laughs> No, you're working. Okay, that's good. pretty. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're not gonna be a problem at all. Just get stunned immediately. Fire crew has been killed. The action will no doubt have been many civilian lives. The pirate ship appears to be an excess of fuel left behind the wreckage. It's the uh, just one fuel, huh? Three fuel. Oh, okay, there we go. Assume your positions. Mantis goes first. I don't know why you're, uh... We're not doing that. I don't... Is it the same? Like, does it matter where they are when they're fighting on board? Like, if a Mantis is in melee combat, does that count as extra damage? Or does he do extra damage to the blaster when he's, like, not fighting directly? That's something I never quite figured out for myself. Oh, yeah, we have a, we have a beam weapon now. I forgot. <laughs> It's like we don't even need to use it. Base technology can roll up to two shields per layer, two layers of shields. Oh, I like you. I like you a lot. I think I like you enough to. Uh... Oh, we need to upgrade our weapons by one. Scrap for initial. Mantis do extra damage regardless of melee range. The game does specify if a crew is better. Alright. Hmm. Well, we have to do it at one point, so let's, uh... Let's get prepared to use... the beam weapon. Boarding isn't going to hold us for the rest of the game. Or there'll be situations where it won't be useful to us anyways. That was actually really lucky, 31 scrap, so that basically just replaced everything we spent. This was the site of a recent battle, either a show of Mantis Force or the engine here was disposed to go peacefully, pick through the pieces, do something on board the ship. Uh, use the augments. Use the slug gel. Get it all, all in the cracks and crevices. Arm rather than dinky laser blaster. Okay, so there's like unique units that have extra bonuses. Volunteers stand guard for a while for pay. Large civilian market has been established in the system. Allied Federation ships patrol the area to make sure rebels and pirates can't sneak in. 
Huh. I forget how far away the rebels were. We don't really have a lot of money to do stuff with anyways. Could get paid. Yeah, screw it, let's get paid. Why not? Federation soldiers are glad to take a break in their command areas. And their command agrees to let you stand guard. Your ship will take one jump cycle. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Luck is not on your side today. Rebel ship has arrived and it's your duty to take care of them. No problem, they look pretty weak anyways. Do nothing, get paid. Oh, we can shop before we do that too. Amphidrone? Special toggle drone that can switch between combat and defense mode. Amp energy. Standard amp drone that fires energy projectiles. More power increases, damage increases with speed. Amp drones can change their power level before combat. Oh, I see. Interesting. Whoa. Suyari beam. A potentially incredibly powerful beam adapting to its environment. Damage increases by 0.75 every time you fire. No limit the number of increased damage. Okay, so that's just like a <laughs> an insta win laser of sorts. Alanius? Uh, oh, I feel tempted to pick up another Mantis. Start breeding them out. Oh, he's not a free Mantis, though. I wonder if you can breed them together. Or if they specifically have to be another free Mantis. Ah, oh, okay. Just makes a regular Mantis? Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. I'm kind of tempted by the Ion Charger. Takes two power, though. We kind of do need more Mantis anyways. Oh, let's buy another Mantis. Screw it. Drop down our oxygen, and I'll start powering up the laser. In fact, no, not the oxygen. Alright, what do we got here? We got two big chonky burst lasers. That's about it. Bunch of weak, weak rebels. So the shields. The shields, and uh, you'll do me a favor and go hit the weapons first for me. Yeah. Should go pretty oh well. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. Unless those are charged, unless they shoot more every time. That's not the Suyari, that's uh, the Giriasma, or Wizarma. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I didn't buy the Suyari. I probably should have. It seemed pretty powerful. That was like 90 bucks. Oh, I see. Are we lagging behind in the stream a little bit? Also, my chat's gone off the rails again. Why, chat box? You're not supposed to be that large. How do I? <laughs> it's too powerful. Uh, that's not what I want. God, it's terrible. <laughs> How does that look? Splatoon. Um, I assume Sploon or Splode or. Wait, you playing Balloons or Splatoon? Splatoon. Illegible. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. I've never played Splatoon. Oh, what am I doing here? Hit the oxygen, that sounds good to me. Oh, it's so slow.
Sorry, did we get breached somewhere? What was that sound? Doesn't matter, they're dead anyways. <laughs> Can't look away for one second to figure out what's going on. It's okay. I suck at all the games that I play too. You're not meant to be good at video games. <laughs> it's all about luck. And whoever spends the most time in the uh, the aim assist uh, games, whatever those things are called, the aimbot trainers. Probably help if we uh, turn the med bay on. Might help just a little bit. All right, so laser is probably not going to be use much use for us. We sh I want to take charge. Fifteen seconds. Yeah, it's not going to be much use for us because we want to hit the weapons immediately for the board. Upon completing your jump, receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Wow, what an offer. Oh, and you're gonna board me too, that's cute. You're gonna try at least. Yeah, just head on down there. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm not using those. What the heck is that thing? Is that a lobster? Looks like a lobster to me. Alright, let's see, what are we doing here? They don't have anywhere to heal. So let's go ahead and hit their weapons. No, we'll hit their shields. Ah, it's a Zoltan. I'll we'll get our free mantis over to the weapons. Supercharge him. I may want to take out that Zoltan before. Uh... Yeah, okay. Probably lose too much HP. That was a flat cannon. We dodged it. Now yeah, we're doing fine. You can also split your group. Nerds. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Too powerful. <laughs> This, uh, this didn't go so well the first time we tried it. Because I forgot about the, uh, the slug tank. The pleasure dome. Actually, no, that's not what I want. I want my oxygen back. Time to think about an upgrade. What would we want to upgrade? Faster cooldown here would be nice. We need more power. Let's uh hold off for a second. Mm, yes. What about doors? Doors are still kind of okay. Uh, getting one of these would be nice. It's gonna need more power, don't we? Let me drop another into power. I'm gonna safeguard our piloting just a little bit here. Sounds okay to me.
Arrive at the seemingly ordinary beacon plate scan show a particularly large ship tunnel opening nearby. Some of the MV drive, well, they first drive, is jumping in nearby. Ah, what a welcome surprise to see a fellow traveler. Unfortunately, I think you have something we want. My missiles? I don't have any. You can't take from me what I don't have. They aren't paying these guys anything. Prepare for battle. Ah, okay. They have missiles. This brings me much sadness. At least I think that's missiles. I'm fairly sure that's missiles. I have no way to heal, though. In fact, I think right now is a good time to use uh, our butler bots. Have him breach. That was a missile. In fact, I think the faster we kill these guys, the better pop will be. Why don't you go and hit their uh, their weapons? Taking a little bit of damage. Okay, actually, we didn't even need the butler bot. That was a waste. You defeat this. The defeat of this vessel marks another victory for you and your crew. You hold a celebratory toast, and what happens in the more successful battle is the battle is ever solved and correct. Ooh, phaser mark one. As you start to leave, you do one more once over the wreckage and are surprised to find an item left behind. Yes. No, no. Um. No. Come back to me. What have we got here? Phaser Mark 1. Phasers pierce additional shield layers, dealing ion damage for the first layer of shields, as well as an additional damage to whatever system hits. Swanky. We'll try that out. Give it a good go. Probably blow up our own crew with it as well. Uh, we need more. More everything. <laughs> engines. Do you want more engines? More thrust? We've been okay with the crew teleporter for now. So uh, let's get an engine upgrade. Oh yeah, we got tons of energy now. Whoa. Oh, hello. You arrived near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Your slug senses life forms aboard the ship. None of them look promising. Following your slug's advice, you decide to avoid the station. While waiting for the FTL drive to charge, you skirt around the edge of the station and collect some scrap. We could have saved them! If I had known, I wouldn't have listened to you. What do we got? Uh, one and two. I think we have to leave now. Hit here. It'll be there. Yes. That's right on the edge. I don't think that's forgiving enough. Let's move here, and the next one will be moving there. So yeah, we gotta go. Was ambush? Spider ambush? You arrive at the long range beacon where the FTL drive is charged. You can jump to the next sector, explore, check the storage. Uh, we have some things we need to do. Check the onboard lab or slugs. Neural strengthening, neural redirection, and neural neuron preservation. Slugs no longer lose skills when being cloned. I don't think we have a clone bay, so never mind. Neural redirection. Slugs lose the ability to sense crew on other ships, but gain 25% boost to combat, sabotage, and repair speed. Ah. Morning, after installing this, you will not be able to install any more primary upgrades for slug crew. You will not be able to deactivate this mod either. Okay, so it's a one-time thing. And neural strengthening. Slugs gain a 75% stun immunity. 
Throw a mantis. Selective killing. Technophobic rage. Spicy pheromones. And uh, slave master. I suppose we could get sensors and then we don't have to worry about that. Or a scouting drone of some kind. Spicy pheromones. That seems appropriate for the, uh, for the pleasure cruiser here. Man, just move at double speed. No. But humans. Diversification. So we're some buff to movement speed, common damage, repair speed, and health. Pretty bog standard. We only have one human, so it's probably not worth it. T mark neurons. Humans gain 50% buff to combat damage, repair speed while in the same room as other humans. Ah. And natural intuition. New human crew will always have level 2 in all skill. Oh! Well, that's nice. Hell. <laughs> that seems pretty OP with the slug cruiser. We just gotta get another human, just breed a whole bunch of humans, get rid of the slugs. We've got level 2 crew across the board forever. Combine that with a uh, clone bay. Huh. <laughs> huh. Okay, but that's not not be useful to us right now. What is the redirection? That would be pretty good. Cost us thirty scrap though. Is there something else we want to do? Upgrade the lab. We need access secondary upgrades for crew, which apply buffs to specific subtypes of crew. We just need to upgrade our med bay for free. Or up to upgrade it to level three. Um. Yeah, kind of like the slugs and being able to see through walls and stuff. Get an idea of what's going on. I think I'm going to hold off on that until we get some sensors. So for right now, I'm just going to... It's going to goo up the ship a little bit more. And get on out of here. Nebulous parts. Or an automated shipyard, 22. Let's go into the nebula... This seems like a very bad idea. An automated shipyard seems like we won't be able to do much boarding if it's all automated, so... Let's do Nebula. Entered hyperspeed. Around you swirls distant stars and planets as they fly past at breakneck speed. All on hyperspeed. Updated 4.8. So I gotta probably assume that's the mod version. Proceed to your next sector or do something aboard the ship first. Now, nah, see the next sector. It's unmapped. Dominant faction, none. Rebel threat level is medium low. The sector remains uncolonized and largely unmapped. There's no saying what you might find here, and the Atlas provides a little more info. Thanks to the high nebula density of the sector, very little of it has been charted. Rumors of what lurks in the depths abound. Glance nervously at the sector map, though the rebels will struggle to track you here. It seems the location of the exit beacon was never specified. You'll have to do some exploring until you're adjacent to it for the computer to recognize it. Oh. Okay. Sure. Through the warp tomb building, you have to was one completed once. What is the objective of Splatoon? Is it just like a, an arena shooter? Pleasure pods. Ah, uh, no, we do need, uh, three Manta Slugs to breed together. They don't, uh, crossbreed. Maybe it's part of the updated version that's that works, but for us, that's not the case. Okay, um... More goo. <laughs> more goo. Ah. At the unvisited location? Sure. No, we need to use the extra to find the exit, so I'm gonna assume the exit's along this line here. Could even be right here. It could be in the center of the map, could even be right here. 
<laughs> Teammates are the most helpful. The distress beacon here is emitting a small ship requesting aid in finding someone. Spawned. The ship appears to be an NG escort. Primary mission protect. High importance Zoltan shuttle. Failure ship is lost. Never though. Sensor is non-functional. We offer scrap return for failure. Tracking lost ship. Agree. It turns out the ship isn't far from your current location, but they're in trouble. A mercenary ship looking to take out the Zoltan is locked onto the shuttle and is barreling towards them. <laughs> it's always the team. Alright, uh, I think we're good. That's a, that's a scary looking ship you got there. We only got a couple of slugs in there, though. It's a damn scary looking ship. Uh, let's, uh... throw everybody in weapons. Let's have our friend actually go for shields and we'll boost you up to go fast. Divert them a little bit. You hit those weapons fast. Oh dear. Black cannon, no. Oh god. You can view the mercenary ship and <laughs> record breaking speed. Ooh, Hellraiser, is that a drone? Lead the Zoltan back to the NG vessel as promised the NG pay you. They transfer some drone parts and a fresh drone schematic. Everything missed us. That was... <laughs> that was textbook. That was beyond textbook. 